Hi everyone, Evan here at the Macronicle for Sunday, November 28th, 2021, where the future starts today. The sell-off that happened Friday. On one of the latest trading days of the year, when all the bigwigs are stuffed from Thanksgiving turkey the day before, not on their computers, not in the office, whatever, magically, on that day, oh my god, this new variant comes out of South Africa, stock market down, commodities down, rates in the gutter, and all of a sudden, on this day, right, central banks, because of this 2% sell-off, can no longer raise rates. I'm sorry, biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard in my life. Okay, I'm sorry. Machine, by the way, I will say this. The machines, big up to you, yeah? You managed to pull this off on a Black Friday, okay? But really, Cole's Notes version, that's all that happened here. On a Black Friday, when no one was looking, the machines knew that really, for the past year now at least, people had gotten way too greedy. People were in positions they shouldn't have been in the first place and figured, you know what? Take him down here. That's all that happened, okay? Really, that's all that happened. For those of you online saying that we're going to have this big sell-off that's going to cause central banks to reverse course and no longer raise rates, tape, or whatever. First of all, for that to happen, we literally have to go into a bear market, okay? And going into a holiday period where the markets pretty much always go up anyways, I'm sorry, I don't see that as likely. Again, I could be wrong, but looking at it right now, and factoring in the day this happened on, I'm sorry, I don't see it as likely. You want further proof? Look at the price action in some of these stay-at-home stocks. Peloton. Gap up open, finish towards the low of the day. Again, no follow-through. If this variant's a big concern, and we're going to have more shutdowns in the economy, why wasn't there rotation into these stocks? Zoom, same thing. Gap up open, finish towards the low of the day, no follow through, right? Again, ask yourself why. Amazon, the monopoly on online shopping. Gap up open, finish down 2%, which is pretty much where the market finished at. And the NASDAQ itself. Look at that tech weight in NASDAQ. If there was rotation, out of the cyclicals, into the stay-at-home stocks, they would have outperformed, right? Did the same as the S&P in the end. So really, we're going to have another shutdown, but the stay-at-home stocks had no follow-through. Looking at that price action, even the market didn't believe its own BS. I mean, come on. But seriously, my biggest reason for doing this video, everything those talking heads tell you, keep it out of your heads, okay? It's not true. It's a bunch of BS. They saw a light trade a day. New people weren't over their heads and told themselves this was the day they were going to take them out. Okay? That's all that really happened here. And for central banks to go ahead and change course, we literally have to have a bear market and historically one of the most bullish months of the year, December. Okay? Listen, I see the irrational exuberance out there. I'm not exactly the biggest bull out there. And even I'm saying it's BS. Okay? Keep calm. Stay the course. Mistakes will happen. We just gotta be there to pounce on them. Alright? That's all I'm gonna say. Smash the like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Follow my Twitter. Follow my Insta. Have a good day. Take care.